praise the name of the Lord God Almighty. Isn't the Lord good and he is worthy to be praised? It's a privilege, it's an honor to be alive. It's a great thing to be in the land of the living. Oh, because why? In, that, in the land of the living, there is hope when you have the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Listen, he woke us up today. It is a privilege indeed to lift our hands and bless the name of the Lord. My name is Pastor Brian Gonzalez, and I'm the pastor of Bride of Jesus Ministry. Brethren, with everything that is happening in the world today, there are a lot of people that are fearful. And Jesus Christ did speak in the book of Matthew chapter 24. And he said, Man's heart will fail them for fear. And why their heart will fail them for fear? When they see the things that is coming upon the earth. And brothers and sisters, we are not to be alarmed by when we see such things happening. We are not to be fearful. Jesus Christ said in the book of John chapter 14 and verse 1, let not your heart be troubled. For if you believe in God, believe in me also. Brothers and sisters, the word of God did speak. And in the book of Timothy, the word of God said this. For God hath not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. And you know when you have a sound mind, you have a sober mind. A mind that is alert. A mind that is watchful. Nothing that is happening should take us by surprise because Jesus Christ did say, listen, these are the times that we will be living in. And these are the times that we are in today. Brothers and sisters, I want to take you back today. Listen, I want to let you know that God is a God that provides. He is a God of provision. And in the book of Exodus chapter 15, the word of God did speak about when God, he parted the Red Sea and the children of Israel, they walked on dry land. And when they reached on the other side, by that time while they were crossing, Pharaoh and his army, they were pursuing them. And there are many times in our life when God had delivered us. I want us to look at the children of Israel just as how God delivered them from Egypt. And they started their journey. What God, when we accepted Jesus Christ in our life, is a journey we have started. And there are many things, listen, that Satan sent our way. A lot of temptations that he sent our way. But what God did, God delivered, them, delivered us from them all, brothers and sisters. And just like the children of Israel, he delivered them. And Pharaoh and his army, they were destroyed. And the word of God went on to speak about in the latter part of chapter 15 of Exodus. That when their water ran out, they began to complain. And God provided water for them. They Listen, they just saw how God delivered them out of Egypt from the hands of Pharaoh. And having no water, they began to complain. You Listen, you and I, we have known what God has brought us through. We cannot afford to complain, but we need to remember and know that God is well able to deliver. As we say in this ministry, God is mighty to save and strong to deliver. That's the God that we serve. He is a living God and a holy God. The word of God went on to speak about in chapter 16 of Exodus. And God began to, you know, God... Oh, what, what God was showing in his word is that they began to complain because they wanted food. They wanted, and God provided manna for them. And as God provided the manna for them, what God told Moses is, listen, let them take an omer. An omer is a measurement. And put it in a pot. And keep that always before them. And to let the dead children know, let it be as a remembrance to them how I have kept them for 40 years. I want us today to remember what God has done for us, for all of our Christian life, and how God has kept us. 
And God don't want us to put it in a pot, but to keep it in our mind. Just as how David will speak in the book of Psalms chapter 119 and verse 11. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. Listen, what God is letting us know today is to remember his word. To keep it as a remembrance in our heart. How he delivered and if he have done it yesterday he will do it today. Because he is the same God yesterday, today and forever. He never changed. Hallelujah. He's a God that preserves. He's a God that sustains. He's a God that he will always keep us. He's a God to his word. God is mighty to be praised. Hallelujah. I want us to go to the book of Mark chapter 8 right now. And this is what the word of God says from verse 1. In those days the multitude being very great and having nothing to eat, Jesus called his disciples unto him and said unto them, I have compassion on the multitude. Because they have now been with me three days and have nothing to eat. So these people here, listen, for three days they are following Jesus Christ. I want to ask you something. How long have you been following Jesus Christ? Have it been 20, 30, 40 years? My God Almighty. Have it been five months, three months, two months? It could be two weeks. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long it is you have been seeking or following Jesus Christ. He will take care of you. And here it is Jesus Christ. He's seen that those people, they have been following him for three days. And the word of God said he had compassion on them. And I want to let you know today that God, regardless what is your situation or whatever is in, in this pandemic time, however the times may be, God will have compassion on you in this hour, in this day. He is well able to bring you through, brothers and sisters. This is what the word of God is saying right now. And verse 3 said, And if I send them away fast into their own houses, they will faint by the way. You see that, listen, God knows your every need. And in that moment, God knows, listen, for the, the length of time that these people have been with me, hallelujah, I just cannot send them away, listen, and not feed them. But listen, what was so interesting, my God Almighty, is what the word of God went on to say. In verse 3, again, let's read. And if I send them away fast and in their own houses, they will faint by the way. Of, uh, of them came from far. For divers of them came from far. So listen, a lot of different people, they came from far following Jesus Christ. How long have God took you? Listen, how far have you came from? Listen, God had delivered you from a pit already. Some of you who may be watching, listen, you could have died on a hospital bed, but God kept you. He saved you. So that you listen, so that you could be a light, you could be a testimony to men and women on the outside that He said that He delivers, my God Almighty. This is what God is saying to you today. That regardless what you may go through, what the church of God Almighty, listen, the gates of hell shall not prevail because we are standing, we are building, we are founded on the solid rock, and the solid rock is Jesus Christ Almighty. Give Him praise and glory right now. Let's go on. Look at verse 4. And his disciples answered him, From whence can a man satisfy these men with bread here in the wilderness? Look at where they are. They are in the wilderness. In the wilderness, you, you, you don't have a bakery. You don't have a deli in the wilderness. You don't have a supermarket in the wilderness. When you are going through your wilderness, some of you, you are hungry, hallelujah. And listen, look at how God came through for you. He sent someone, hallelujah, to provide, to give you something. It was a hard time. God is who he is. He is a provider. He is Jehovah Jireh. Let us believe him for who he said that he is. I will supply. Paul said it in the book of Philippians chapter 4 and verse 9. For my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. That's the God that my God that I serve today and that you serve. Listen, you got to have faith in him. Hallelujah. The just shall live by faith. Hallelujah. Listen, you could be in a wilderness 
You could be in a sort of place, listen, it may be hard, oh my God. You could be in a desert place, hallelujah. You could be in a dark place. Jesus Christ asked them, they said unto Jesus Christ, listen, in the wilderness, but they didn't realize, hallelujah. And what they said to Jesus, we don't have bread here to feed them, but they forgot, hallelujah, that they had the bread of life, and that's Jesus Christ. When you have the bread of life, my God, he is well able to keep you and sustain you. Whoa, my God. What more else do you want to get when you have bread? Hallelujah. And this is what the word of God say. And he asked them, how many loaves? Hallelujah. Have you? And they said, seven. And he commanded the people to sit down on the ground. And he took the seven loaves and give thanks. Hallelujah. What you need to go do in this times, Hallelujah. How difficult or how hard it is. Whatever you have, listen, lift it up unto God Almighty and say, God, I give you thanks, hallelujah. Lord, you are my shepherd and I shall not want, I shall not lack, hallelujah. Whatever it is, God will provide. He is your shepherd. He is the good shepherd, hallelujah. Oh, my God Almighty, what else do we want? He's a God of provision. You know what the word of God went on to say? Woo! And gave thanks and broke and gave to his disciples to set before them. And they did set before the people. Hallelujah. What God told me, listen, I, he sent me just as his disciple, hallelujah, to bring the bread of life uh, to you today. Uh, just to let you know, uh, hallelujah, that he sent a word, uh, the bread of life, uh, to keep you, to sustain you, just to let you know, regardless of what time that you're going through, COVID time or pandemic time, whatever, he will provide for you, hallelujah. The children of Israel in the wilderness, God provided for them, hallelujah. Oh my God Almighty, I'm reminded of Elijah in the book of First Kings, hallelujah. It was a famine and God provided food for him, hallelujah. Even when he went to the widow, hallelujah, God provided. She said, oh my God, he said, listen, make me a cake. Bring me some water and make me a cake, hallelujah. She said, I only have a little. He, she, he said, listen, don't worry, just make it. The word of God said she had a, a, a handful of meal. And as she made that meal with that cruise of oil, that little bit of oil, the word of God said that it lasted many days. Hallelujah. When you have God in your life, my God Almighty, it's not about, hallelujah, that where that uh, Elijah was a man of God, you know, or that Moses was a man of God. You know. God was with them. And if God be for you, who can be against you? That's what God's word says. Hallelujah. Oh my God Almighty. You know what the psalmist said in the book of uh, uh, Psalm chapter 20, uh, 37 and verse 25. For I have been young and I have been old. And I have never seen the righteous forsaken. Nor his seed begging bread. I just want to bring uh, your mind to this thing. When David said I have been young. It speaks of a period of time. I have been old. And I have never seen the righteous forsaken. Now listen. From young days to old days. I have never seen God abandon his people. Your father and your mother. They may abandon you. But God will not abandon you. Your children may abandon you, but God will not abandon you. You know, listen, your children may abandon you, but God will not abandon you. I will not leave you. I will not forsake you. God's got a word. That's what he's saying unto you today. Brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. And the word of God say in verse 7 of Mark, and they had a few small fishes, and he blessed and commanded to set them also before them. So they eat and will fill and took up of the broken meat that was left, seven baskets. God is well able to keep us. Hallelujah. That when he provides for you, hallelujah, you will always have extra. Hallelujah. Just like that widow in the book of 1 Kings, she had extra. Hallelujah. Oh my God, I, I don't know what that widow was praying for. But all I know, she said, hallelujah, I just have a little thing for my son and I to eat uh, and for us to die. Uh, you might think that you may die in this hour, but God is well able to keep you, brothers and sisters. Uh, God is well able to restore you. It doesn't matter. All you've got to do is serve him in spirit and in truth. Uh, listen, you belong to him. He is well able to keep you. Oh, my God.
God Almighty. God is good. I want to encourage you in this hour. That God is well able. He is able to restore you. God is well able to restore you. I urge you in this hour to stand strong. Because my God, he never fails. He is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Brothers and sisters, God is able. Stand strong. He's coming for our children without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. Be holy, for God is holy.